Commence soldering. My plan is to use a piece of copper shaped like this with the two ends at 90 degrees so that I can lay a sort of a, essentially a bust cable down in parallel along the cells and then there's two ends connected over to the next bank uh, for which I'll also get a shorter piece of copper in a line and just go across here. Um, I needed obviously always to join this bank to this bank uh, eventually but if I can do it with one piece of copper soldered across that would be better than fiddling around with tiny little link pieces to put them across. This should be enough uh, I would have thought. Oh, and a disclaimer, I'm not a good solderer at all. I haven't really received any training or anything like that. I last did it at school many years ago. So apologies now. I've just finishing, uh, finished soldering this uh, side along here and onto this next pack here. Um, that's my god awful soldering, soldering. but um, it's on, it's connected. Uh, it's not pretty, but it works. Uh, I'm no skilled solderer. I've just been cutting up these lengths here uh, of this. Uh, copper wiring, so that's slightly longer, this is slightly shorter, all set to a, a certain length and these will all hook around this 90 degree idea for uh, as I go through and these shorter ones will simply bridge across like this as I'm just about to do in a moment. So I'm around three quarters of the way through this first battery pack. Uh, you can see examples of my soldering here, it's pretty ugly, but it's functional at least. Um, I'm taking a break now because I'm sick of inhaling all the fumes, and I'll come back in a minute. I need to finish off this side here, and then I haven't even done the bottom yet, so these are just connected across bridge there, 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 and there, and there. I finally finished soldering this first pack. Time to uh, test the voltages. So I'm on the, uh, this is the negative end just here, it's 3.6, trying to get a good contact, there, 7.2, 10.8, 11.5, Eighteen point nine, twenty five point two, twenty eight point eight, thirty two point five, thirty six point one, thirty nine point seven, forty three point two. And on the positive at the end, contact. Yeah, forty-six point nine. So uh, of course these uh, cells are discharged at the moment. I've already been discharging them, so they're in a discharge state at just shy of the forty-eight volts nominal that I need for the bike. Charged up, I think it should be about fifty-four volts. This is a thirteen series pack, so it should be about fifty-four, I think. Um, so that's it. The first one is done. Uh, I'll be doing the second one another day. It's quite late now, but I'm glad that's worked. Um, that's the soldering job I've done on it there. Uh, not neat, but it is functional. They're all connected well. I've tested them all. Um, and the pack seems to be physically holding together fairly well. No doubt the extra bars here help to, to keep it together. So it's reasonably strong. I'm going to need to protect it with something uh, that does not conduct electricity, maybe some decent plastic or something over here probably. Uh, once I make that. Um, and then I'm going to need some large wires coming off it for the positive and the negative. I don't know what size to go for yet, something quite big, and I want them flexible, not rigid like these solid, copy, uh, solid copper pipes here. That's a job for another day, so at least this first pack is soldered. I finally have the second pack soldered. It's taken me a little while to do it, but I'm getting slightly better and quicker at soldering now. Steep learning curve. There's the first pack over there, already done, built, tested. So, I'm just going to test this one now, and unfortunately I've got my crappy old multimeter here, the other one's in the house and I can't be bothered to go and get it. So let's find out if uh, this has all been soldered together correctly, see if the uh, voltages are correct. 
19, I think. It's got to go this. This um, crappy thing isn't also ranging. 21. 24. 28. 31.8. 35.4. 39, 42.6, and 46.2. Of course, again, this pack is discharged similar to the other one, so it needs charging. So that's good, it's all wired up correctly, it's showing the correct voltage that it needs to at this stage. On order, I've got two uh, BMS modules. Um, one for each of these packs and I've yet also to buy some proper a decent size um, uh, wiring really probably sort of a 10 or 8 gauge I guess um, one for each terminal at the end for this I don't know how much I'm going to need I don't know where this will be positioned exactly in the bike yet either between uh, the frame so in the in the central part of the frame of the bike or maybe um, on the over the back wheel on a pannier rack not really sure yet, but these are now essentially done. Uh, as soon as I've got the BMS and I'll solder that one on, I'll make a video of that as well, then I can actually charge them, that'll be good. See how much um, capacity they take to charge and then discharge. But at least they're soldered now. My two BMSs have arrived for each battery pack. I'm now in the process of soldering this one on. So I've, uh, I should show you the other one first, get a bit of a look at it. Uh, here's the other one, just so I can give you a look at it. It'll be going on that battery pack there. It's really cheap. Um, there are some of these for a lot more money. Doubtless they're a lot better. Um, will this one do the job? I hope so. I'm sure it'll be, it'll be alright. My um, my e-bike build is a budget build. So I'll go for this, and if, um, if I have problems, then I guess I can uh, upgrade to a better one in time. Uh, it has got a heat sink, this large plate of aluminium. Um, is uh, a heat sink for all the um, components in there which have got some paste on them hopefully to transfer as much heat as possible um, from what I can see hopefully I'm sure it'll do the job fine I guess I'll find out and it does come with a uh, uh, balanced leaves well of course this is a 13s pack so that fits that one so this is I think where I'm going to be placing my BMS well I know now I've decided that's what it's going to be I've held it in place just for the moment with some sticky tape at the moment and I'll be running a bead of hot snot just across there to keep this in place in a moment. And uh, the the voltages on these these BMS, this BMS goes from zero to here, and then uh, the plus each cell, each bank of cells across to here, up till 13s here at uh, 48 volt nominal, which is 54.6 charged at to 4.2 per cell uh, to this end one, this light coloured one, this green one. So. That's my. This is the end of my uh, battery bank here. This is the negative terminal for the whole bank. That one rail um, there with the copper on it is not um, attached to anything. So that's the uh, overall negative end of the battery pack. And the positive end is around the corner there. Where is it? Sorry about the jerkiness. There, that is the positive rail, not connected to anything else. So I've just bent that one around the corner, tinned it first, soldered it on there. Have a look at my useless soldering again. There you go. And I'll just now be running along, snipping this one. And annoyingly, I don't know how other people get around this. I have yet to watch some other videos, I guess. This one here will be the next one, and I'm going to need to put it under this whole pack because I'd like to make this quite, you know, look reasonable, look reasonably neat. So this pack, all these wires are going to move down here and have them coming off each way, left then right, left then right as we go over. So this one, this next blue one's going to have to go to this uh, connection over here and it'll need to be put under I think here. And I'll just be using small blobs of hot snot just to 
keep them in place, make them as tidy as possible. This is, uh, it won't be a pretty pack. I haven't got the skills of the tons of other YouTubers you've seen who make these, but uh, it's fine. It's, it's not pretty, but it is, it hopefully will be functional. Just finished soldering up the uh, BMS on this now. Uh, this is the neatest job I can do. And I've uh, put hot snot in the various places there to try and seal it in place. And it seems neat enough. It also seems strong enough. It should do. Uh, I've yet to test whether or not it's uh, electrically sound. I will be uh, removing the uh, pin from here, the, the plug from there, just taking this off. That was just to secure it in place where I wanted it. And then checking each one of these in series, I'll show you that in a minute. It should be zero from there, adding up to about, at the moment, I think it's about 46, 47 volts at the end because it's a bit discharged, but that's fine. I need this to be able to charge it. So finally it's on. Uh, my charger is in the mail on the way, so I really can't wait to charge this pack, but looking pretty good. Let's see if this is wired up correctly. Let's see if I can uh, manage not to short it as I test it. So this top one here, yellow, is negative. 7 7.2, 10.9, 14.6, 18.2, 21.8, 25.5, 29.1, 32.7, and 47.2. Packs discharged. Excellent result. Second one complete. Here's a view of it. Neat enough for what I need. So I'll just check the um, voltages coming out of this again now. 36, 7.2, 10.8, 14.4, 18.1, 21.6, 25.3, 28.9, 32.4, 5, 36.2, 39.7, 43.4, and 47.09. I believe that's a similar voltage to my other pack. It was 47 point something, I forget what now. So um, there's no more than a volt apart in these packs at the moment. So that's it. Successfully soldered both packs. Um, ready for charging now. That'll be the next step. I've ordered some uh, wiring as well. Some uh, decent copper core strand, some turnigy, turnigy or turnigy. Help me out, someone in the comments, please. Um, I've ordered some wiring that'll be ready to connect them up. I've ordered um, a bag for the bike now to uh, to store the battery in, but I'm getting close now.